without the need for a costly plumber. Holes and cracks in your drywall can be an eyesore, but with the right tools and steps, you can make your walls look as good as new. So, let's dive right into the process of repairing drywall. First off, you need to prepare the wall. It's essential to clear away any loose debris around the hole or crack. You can use a utility knife to carefully cut away any frayed edges. This step ensures a clean surface for the patch to adhere to. Next, it's time to apply the patch. You can find drywall patches at any home improvement store. These are typically adhesive on one side and have a mesh or paper surface on the other. Position the patch over the hole, making sure it completely covers the area. Press it firmly onto the wall so it sticks in place. Now we move on to the application of joint compound, also known as mud. This is where you'll need a putty knife. Spread the joint compound over the patch and the surrounding wall. The aim here is to blend the patch into the surrounding wall, so strive for a smooth, seamless finish. Once the joint compound has dried, which could take a few hours to overnight, it's time for sanding. Using a fine grit sandpaper, gently sand the area until it's smooth and even with the rest of the wall. This step might get a bit messy, so make sure to protect your floors and furniture. Finally, we are at the last step, painting. Match the paint to your wall color as closely as possible. Apply a primer first if you have it, as this will help the paint adhere better. Once the primer is dry, paint over the area. You might need a couple of coats to achieve the desired coverage. And voila, your wall is back to its pristine condition. This process can be a bit time consuming, but it's certainly a cost effective way to maintain the beauty of your home. Plus, there's a certain satisfaction that comes with completing a DIY home repair. So, don't shy away from these tasks. With a bit of patience and effort, you can keep your home looking its best. A clogged drain can disrupt your daily routines and even lead to bigger plumbing issues, but with a little elbow grease, you can unclog it yourself. First, let's start with the simplest method, using a plunger. Yes, the same tool you'd use for a stubborn toilet can work wonders on your sink or tub drain. Place the plunger over the drain and pump vigorously. The suction can often dislodge whatever is causing the clog, allowing water to flow freely once more. Now if the plunger doesn't do the trick, it's time to up your game with a plumber snake. This handy tool is a long, flexible metal rod that you feed into the drain to push through the clog. Just be careful not to force it, as you could potentially damage your pipes. But what if the clog is stubbornly refusing to budge? That's when a hand auger comes into play. Similar to a plumber snake, a hand auger has a crank that allows you to drill down into the drain, breaking up the clog and clearing the way. As you work with these tools, remember to prioritize safety. Always wear gloves to protect your hands, and if you're using a hand auger, make sure to wear safety goggles to protect your eyes from any debris that might fly out. And of course, it's important to clean up after you've finished. Dispose of any debris you've removed from the drain properly, and clean your tools before storing them away. You wouldn't want to introduce new clogs or bacteria into your pipes the next time you need to use them. So, you see, Unclogging a drain doesn't have to be a professional's job. With a bit of patience, the right tools, and a little bit of know-how, you can tackle this common home repair task yourself. And the best part? You'll save money by not having to call in a plumber, and you'll have the satisfaction of solving the problem with your own two hands. So there you have it. A clear drain without the need for a professional plumber. So, we've walked you through some common home repair tasks, fixing a leaky faucet, repairing drywall, and unclogging drains, but let's quickly recap. Starting with the leaky faucet, we showed you how to first identify where the leak is originating. Once we knew it was from the faucet, we turned off the water supply. We then removed the handle of the faucet and the packing nut, which revealed the stem. Removing that exposed the washer, which is often the culprit for leaks. By replacing the worn-out washer with a new one, we were able to stop the leak and save gallons of water from being wasted. Next, we tackled repairing drywall. We discussed how holes and cracks in drywall can be unsightly and even cause structural issues if left unattended. The process involved cutting out a clean square around the damage, then attaching a new piece of drywall using a supporting piece of wood behind it. We applied joint compound and drywall tape to smooth out the seams, and after some sanding and painting, the wall looked as good as new. Then we moved on to unclogging drains. 
a common issue that can lead to bigger problems if not addressed. We explained how you can use a plunger or a plumber's snake to dislodge the clog. For stubborn blockages, we suggested a homemade solution of vinegar and baking soda, which can break down the clog without damaging your pipes. Each of these tasks may seem daunting at first, but with the right tools and a little bit of guidance, they're entirely manageable. And the benefits are substantial. By performing these repairs yourself, you can potentially save hundreds if not thousands of dollars in professional repair fees over time. Plus, there's the added bonus of gaining new skills and the confidence that comes with self-reliance. So don't shy away from these tasks. Embrace the opportunity to learn and grow. The more you practice, the more adept you'll become. And who knows, you might even find that you enjoy it. After all, there's a certain satisfaction that comes from fixing something with your own two hands. And remember, this is just the beginning. There are countless other home repair tasks that you can learn to handle on your own. Whether it's replacing a light fixture, installing a new door, or even building a deck, the world of DIY home repair is vast and rewarding. So keep learning, keep experimenting, and most importantly, keep trying. Because every time you tackle a new task, you're not only improving your home, you're also improving yourself. Remember, with a little patience and practice, you can become your own handyman and save a great deal of money in the process.